Good evening, guys and gals. Tonight, I'll be looking at this brew, Tenant's Beer, aged with whiskey oak, 6% alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled by Tenant Caledonian Breweries in Scotland. Now, uh, until a couple of weeks ago, I had uh, never laid eyes upon this brew. It was actually a uh, lovely lady at the um, brew house Brisbane that uh, recommended it to me when I said that I was interested in a uh, more malt forward brew rather than uh, the vast selection of uh, IPAs they have there that are popular with a lot of people nowadays. Um, I guess my first impression was that uh, it, uh, yeah, it's very much like uh, Innocent Gun, if uh, any of you tried that. So uh, it uh, really uh, had me uh, quite intrigued. So uh, anyhow, the time has arrived to uh, review this uh, Tenant's Beer aged with Whiskey Oak and uh, see what it's like. All right, so I'll uh, grab the uh, trusty BB Barfly bottle opener and I'll uh, crack off the cap. Okay, some uh, nice smoke coming out there. And I'll uh, pour it into this uh, footed beer glass. All right. Definitely seems like a nice brew to have on a uh, Saturday evening here in Australia. Okay, so I'll just uh, put this down here. And uh, let's make an assessment uh, of the appearance. Well, uh, as far as the appearance goes, it uh, appears to be quite effervescent. Uh, Colour-wise, it's um, yeah, very am well clear amber brown colour. You've got uh, a frothy off-white head there. Got about uh, two fingers of head. Let me just uh, top this up and get the remainder of the bottle in there. Okay. All right. So um, yeah. So we've uh, talked about the appearance, which means that I must move along to the aroma. Hmm. Well, uh, definitely picking up some Scotch whiskey there. Yeah. It's probably what uh, I would say is the um, yeah predominant aroma. You know, some oak there. There's uh, perhaps a hint of vanilla and caramel that's uh, present as well, although it's a little fainter. But wow, it smells fantastic. So um, yeah, I believe that it's uh, now time for the uh, taste test. So um, yeah. Cheers to you all. Let's dive in. Hmm. Wow. Well, uh, up front, getting a nice, you know, hit of uh, caramelly, bready malts. Um, you know, whiskey taste is, uh, you know, coming through quite strong as well. Um, the bitterness is uh, really quite minimal. Uh, yeah, but uh, wow, it's um, definitely got some uh, nice, you know, whiskey flavors coming through there. Uh, I, I really, you know, enjoy this um, this blend that they've created of, uh, you know, whiskey and uh, or what, you know, kind of tastes to me like a, you know, just a regular sort of like, uh, you know, malt forward lager. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty damn good, I must say. All right, so uh, I must have another gulp. Hmm. Well, it's uh, certainly holding that taste profile and it's uh, going down pretty smooth. Um, there's no noticeable alcohol presence. Uh, you know, which, uh, you know, you can sometimes get at 6% uh, ABV, I suppose. Uh, as far as the body's concerned, it's somewhere between, you know, light and medium. But, uh, gee whiz, you know, getting some decent lacing there as well. Yeah, it's uh, a really nice brew. I'm uh, really enjoying it immensely. So uh, what would I say in terms of its drinkability? Well, of course, it's very drinkable. And uh, as far as sessionability goes, well... I suppose you could have a humble little session on this, like maybe, uh, yeah, four bottles perhaps. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's a quite an enjoyable brew, and uh, yeah, I'd encourage you all to um, yeah give it a try should you stumble upon it. As far as the price point is concerned, well, um, 
I can only speak in terms of this uh, single bottle that I bought from the uh, brew house Brisbane, which um, was, yeah, I suppose reasonably priced for a single bottle. I wouldn't know what you'd pay for a, um, you know, six pack or a carton, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, perhaps uh, one day Dan Murphy's or First Choice may stock it. All right, so I think it's time that I wrap this up and uh, had one last gulp and gave it a score out of 10. Hmm. Well, all in all, it's a lovely brew. There's nothing offensive about it flavor-wise. So, um, yeah. Look, in terms of a score out of 10, I'd uh, be more than happy to give it a solid 9 out of 10. So, uh, there you go, folks. A uh, 9 out of 10 for uh, a tenant's beer uh, aged with whiskey oak. All right. Well, Thanks for joining me once again. I'm just going to kick back and uh, enjoy the remainder of this lovely brew. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, be back soon with another review. So until next time, fare thee well all.